The Sims 4 Get to Work supposedly has aliens, but I have noticed them missing in my games lately and realized a lot of newer players would struggle to ever see an abduction if aliens roaming around are rare. It seems the tuning for this was maybe changed at some point to make it happen less often, so let's go over how you can get aliens to appear in town and increase our chances of abductions. We will be using our friend the conspiracy theorist George Cahill from Strangerville, and he is going to love participating in my activities. At the center of all this alien abduction stuff is a hidden meter, we'll call it the abduction meter. Only a few things in the game impact this stat and it decays after about 24 hours. So creepy as it is, the aliens are shy and you need to express some interest in them before they'll come and insert things into you. If you build it up to max, you have about a 25% chance of being abducted that night. Male sims have a chance to be impregnated when they are abducted and aside from two aliens getting busy is the only way to get a full-blooded screeching alien baby who will grow up to half powers. I promise you it is really, really unpleasant. Anyway, let's look at three different ways of getting that abduction meter moving. Scientists unlock a satellite dish at level 4 in the career that allows them to contact aliens. This isn't a lot of effort, but you may not want to dump your career. There's also an out of this world desktop at level 10 that does the same thing the satellite does. The cooldowns are even tied. If you use either of these contact alien methods, you immediately max out the meter and can't do anything further to boost your odds. You can try again the next day. The second means is to cheat for those scientist objects. Using the BB.Ignore Gameplay Unlocks Entitlement Cheat, you can make it so that you can purchase the computer without being in the career. With BB.Show Hidden Objects, you can reveal the satellite under Electronics MISC in Buy Mode. You can also cheat your logic skill to get into contact. Logic is the way to go if you don't want to cheat or touch scientists. I think it's definitely faster for an honest play since you don't need to follow a work schedule. Anyway, if you get to level 7 logic, you unlock an interaction called Search for the Truth that only appears at night on the observatory. This one slowly builds up the hidden meter we talked about and it's the only real usage of it on a granular level. Using it even a little gives you a small chance with about 6 levels of improvement based on how long you did it. Use it a few hours and it's as good as if you'd used contact aliens on the satellite dish. Just as trivia, I think that talking to aliens may also build up the meter but it's hard to test this. Regardless, there aren't a lot of references to this abduction meter and the telescope's the most reliable. I think it takes at most a couple hours to max out the meter. So, in order to get footage of an abduction, I had to do a few things and I'll share that with people who need this for a story or want to have an alien baby. If you want to see the abduction, make sure the sim is inside the middle of their house as you'll probably want to play on speed 3 and the animation is really short, so you gotta watch for the sims to start walking toward the light. It's good to have autonomy off for this reason. If you save the game at 9 or 9.30 p.m. with a full meter, you can wait till about 4 a.m. and if no abduction happens, you can exit to menu and reload without saving. If you also want a male pregnancy, you need to make sure the male is the one reaching out to the aliens. With the chance of a male pregnancy also being 25%, you have a pretty slim chance of getting an abduction and pregnancy in one go. To help with this, you can save in a separate slot right after the abduction occurs and let time progress for about 24 hours. If no tummy ache appears, you're not pregnant from the event. Exit and reload without saving again and you should be whisked away. You actually see the full animation for the abduction over and over doing this, but each time you get to roll the dice again. It's like Groundhog Day with anal. Eventually, you'll have a tummy ache and this is the indication that 72 hours later, your male sim will have an alien baby. Building up the meter gets aliens interested in your sim and they may even visit your lot and raid your stuff. This gives your sims a chance to befriend an alien in order to romance them or ask them to move into your house. The result of a sim on alien pregnancy is a hybrid that has hair but blue or green skin but won't have alien powers. As I said before, only alien on alien and the male pregnancy results in a pure alien baby. However, it's a good storytelling vehicle or makes for some unique genetics. 
To be honest, this is pretty creepy. The male sims are being used as a surrogate mother for the alien couple on Omicron Percy I-8 and they're probably hoping you don't keep it. For this reason, when you give birth to an alien baby, you can send it back to the home world if you like. I had twins without cheating, so maybe they wanted to make sure I would send at least one back. I'll keep one for an alien powers video. So to wrap up what we learned, use the logic skill and you'll find the truth. The truth is creepy and aliens are still out there. You just gotta get them to come out of their shells or they won't show up in your games very often these days. If you see one without doing this, you're pretty lucky. Given the prevalence of annoying celebrities, you'd think we would have some aliens coming out to mix things up a bit. This may be a small solution for that. Tip the population a bit toward aliens and maybe there will be a few less thorns running around. I recently launched a how-to section on the guide where I'm going to do lots of little things, not gigantic guides that I normally do, and this is a part of that. In some cases, you're giving information overload when someone just has a simple question they need answered. But thank you all for watching, and I'll be back with another one soon. Our Patreon's available if you would like to support the site or channel, and there's a link to it in the description of every video I make.